Hi, my name is Sim Hall. I play the Delta State. I'm a D back. I play free safety, uh, strong safety, corner and nickel. Uh, I'm six foot, 195. I'm going to get started with the questions now. First question is What goals did you set for your accomplishment in your final uh, collegiate season? Um, the goals I set in my final collegiate season were just to be the uh, best teammate I could, um, to forget all the the selfish accolades and glory. Uh, I just wanted to win. And, uh, you know, I didn't have the senior season I wanted, but I contributed a lot. Uh, started every special teams. Any way I could help my team, I helped out. Um, very humble kid. Uh, you know, any anything I can do to help my team, I've, I've done it. Um, next question is, how do I think I took advantage of the extra year of eligibility to increase my chance of going pro? Um, that extra year, uh, you know, God's amazing. That extra year, it in fact helped uh, set me up to where I am right now. Um, I'm in one of the best facilities in the Midwest. Uh, at the Haven in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, with professional trainer Eric Beisel, uh, and the Perform app. So, you know, it just made me, uh, you know, uh, just connect with a bunch of more people I've connected with and to extend my career. Uh, next question is, what would your coaches and teammates say about the type of player you are? Man. My teammates probably say I'm one of the best teammates they've had. Uh, and like I said, I'm a very humble guy. I've had plenty of teammates who were, you know, get yelled by coaches, get in their head. And, you know, me being an older guy, I understand the roles. You know, I, I've been through it, I understand that. So I'll pull them down to the side be like, look, man, just, just do this, do this. Don't listen to how, you know what I'm saying, the, the message is coming out, but listen to the words. So, uh, and like I said, I'm, I'm very humble. Um, you know, I I went, I played at Missouri Western with Coach Partridge. Uh, he's at NAU right now, great coach. Respect him. Um, and then I, after Mo West, he went down to Delta State, which I followed him. Um, I intend to go down there, earn the starting spot uh, at cornerback. I earned the starting spot at cornerback. I was third, third string, fourth string, worked up the summer, became first string. Uh, went into that first game with Coach Partridge, uh, broke my collarbone in the second half, uh, and I continued to play. I, I made three more tackles on a broken collarbone uh, because I had ultimate respect for Coach Partridge and, you know, him just giving me the opportunity. My mother was also there. Uh, so, you know, I knew it was my last game. And then we only had a freshman behind me, and he was definitely not ready. So I tried to stay out there as long as I can. And, you know, the thing about me is, I, I, you know, um, the way God set it up, I just, I was praying out there. And, and man, uh, he, he got me through it and ended up with six tackles, a PVU, and that, that first game with a broken collarbone. So, you know, all glory to God. Uh, just, I thank him for me getting through it uh, and just continue on the now. Just some of that stuff is what made me humble. Um, you know, even when he left, I, I start understanding it's a business. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have the same coaches that recruited me that wanted me, uh, new coaches came in, you know, they played who they want, they recruited who they want, they, and that that's that's off me the business. Now, I'm a player, but the humble side of me is like, all right, um, you know, if I gotta take the back seat, that's cool, when I get my opportunity, I'm gonna shine, and I've, I've done that plenty of times. Like I said, even, even um, a great safety, uh, a transfer from NAU, Sherrod Page, that is my brother. He came in, he, he balled. I had nothing against him, but the thing about me and him is when he first came in, I'm not the type of guy to be like, oh, you're coming in to take my spot. No, I I want to help him learn. I want to help him to, you know, increase because I'm not going to be on the field the whole time. I know that he's not going to be on the field the whole time. 
So I, I have a brother who with him. I love him like a brother, a great kid. And he's the type to always, he wanted to learn from me as well. And I learned from him vice versa. So, you know, um, and again, just I'm, I'm big on being humble. Uh, it really, it really sucks sometimes, you know, but I think God does everything for a purpose, everything for a reason. Um, I didn't see as much as defensive playing time this year as I wanted, but I was on every special team, giving my all, blocking my tail off, running down the field, chasing people on, on, on punt return to stop from saving a touchdown. I've, I've done it all, blocking, blocking punts, um, blocking the, the guys trying to block the punts, um, kickoff return. There, there's a lot of times where the, the, the gap's supposed to hit off right off my toe, and it has. Uh, and I know it's, it's a very important part of the game. It's one third of the game and it matters a lot. And I, I take a lot into that. And uh, yeah, I, I, I know it's, it's it just gotta be humble sometimes and gotta make the way. And now I'm in one of the best facilities in the Midwest training my tail off day in, day out to become a better player. And you know, I, I will. Uh, the next question is, what are you studying? When you, when you are studying film, what things do you focus on to improve your game? So when I study film, um, you know, I, I look at a bunch of things. I looked at the QB's cadences, any hand twitch, where his eyes go first. Um, just not that when when receivers come off the line, or they're, they're, are they giving me mummy arms, or are they really trying to attack, or they're running? Uh, it'll be certain things. Is, is the back offset behind the quarterback? Is he in front of the quarterback? So I don't know if it's run or not. You know, if I know they're trying to be a, a, a power, something. Even even the O line. O line would be some some tackles would be up high. Some guards would be down lower when they know it's about to be run or a pass. Uh, you know, it's just the small things. But also, I I realized, yeah, the game is between the players, but. You know, it's really the coaches who are calling the plays and, you know, what are their tendencies and what does he like to do? Is it starting five? Is it starting ten? Is it going to run a screen slant? Is he going to just go for it? So things like that. Uh, you know, even I even I focus on myself. I, I see what I can improve. I see if I need the trigger factor to come down and hit the gap. Cause sometimes as a safety, you just got to hit it. As, as as linebackers uh, play, they see a hole, they just hit it. So sometimes when I come down and I see a gap and I, I see linemen raising high, you know, and I mean, they coming forward, I know it's a run. So I just go down there and fill the gap and hit it. And I've done that plenty of times, um, you know. Uh, and like I said, I, I study tendencies. I, I see what the quarterback likes. I see what it, what is who he likes to throw to, as as well as the coaches. What plays they like to call. What what runs they like to call. Um, so yeah, it's it's a game in itself. Um, my next question is, what separates you from other pros prospects of your position? I say what separates me is I I've, I've been through a lot, um, and. Not only if I not only have I have availability, I have accountability too. Um, you know, I've I've played every DB position, corner, nickel, free safety, strong safety. Not only than that, but I went out and played every special team from playing from blocking, playing a guard, from kickoff return. Um, I'm just I'm very versatile, and that's not only on the defense end, but special teams end. Um, I've, I've done it all, and I've been humble about it. I don't, you know, I don't boast about it because it's part of the game. I know I'm going to make plays. I know plenty of plays are going to be made, and I know they're going to come my way sooner or later. So uh, I think that separates me a lot. And mentally, I'm not the type to, you know, some, some kids have tempers. Some don't know how to take coaching. I know how to take coaching. You tell me to do something, I might mess up. You know, you tell me again, I'm not gonna mess up. So um, I'm very attentive. Uh, yeah, and 
I'm I'm available. I'm I'm, I'm accountable. Uh, and I, I take special teams to heart. Even though I would love to play on the field, playing D back, safety, corner, making plays like I do, but I know I have I gotta I gotta start somewhere. So uh, I just I take advantage of every opportunity I'm given, whether that whether it be the bright lights on the field or you know what I'm saying or on special teams. I'm, I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna give 110 percent because I know every rep counts. Every rep matters. Next question is, what is my off-season plan to train and prepare for professional opportunities? Again, like I said, I'm in one of the best facilities in the Midwest, training with the Perform app. Uh, my professional trainer, Eric Beisel, you know, he trains a bunch of these guys, and there's plenty more he trains, um, so I'm, I'm getting the best of the best. And I know when, when opportunity comes, I'm going to be prepared for it. Right, rightfully so, uh, and I'm working my tail off for this opportunity, and I know I know it's all I need, and I know it's gonna come. So the next question is, uh, what kind of strengths and abilities will you bring to the team, and that will stand out both and on the field? Uh, I say a guy like me, my teammate. Um, I know how to lead. Also, I know how to follow. Uh, I don't think everyone needs to be a leader. Uh, I know how to how to play my role. I know what needs to be done. Again, and humbly speaking, like I said, I I feel like God put me in a situation because I've I've been through it before. I didn't go to the big time SEC. I didn't have all the accolades, but I know I can play this game. And you know, I I know I, I work my tail off. I know on on and off the field, I, I am the same man. I have high character, high integrity. Uh, I, I have my uh, my degree already um, in business marketing. I'm two semesters away from a master's. My last semester was a 4.0 uh, GPA. Um, and, and I think one of the, the best abilities I have is just to be a teammate, to be accountability. Um, it's nothing like the people you meet in that that field or in that locker room. It's, it's nothing like that, and just to have everybody. So I'm I'm the type. I'm a DB, but you know, and I'm, I'm a black man. I'm a DB, and I'm a black man. But that just didn't mean I hung out with the rest of the black people, or you know, or the rest of the DBs. You know, I. I was cool with everybody, quarterbacks, linemen, D tackle, special teams, the kickers. I was really tight with them, and you know that's that's just a testament to me to who I am and a testament who God made me to be. Um, you know, I'm sometimes I'm out, I'm outspoken, uh, charismatic, um, you know, and. I think me just me and me and me really showing people how to love and not show fake love, you know, like, you know, even when, when I'm, because I've always been the man, even when I'm, when I'm not the man, I'm still being the same person I am. I'm not changing. I'm not going to ever let that change me because it's who God made me to be. Um, but I think those abilities are what some people lack, man. So I know that sometimes, I know when it's time to leave, I know when it's time to step back and, and play my role. Uh, and, you know, whatever God has in store to me, you know, whether it be to get to the league and it's time to be that man, I will be paired. Or if I get to the league and it's time to play special teams and still be that man, still gonna prepare the same way day in day out so uh, the abilities I've had is, is countless and endless and I just it's just hard it's hard to speak about myself because I'm, I'm very humble um, but you know you can talk to plenty of old coaches and teammates I've had 
and it's self-explanatory. And I guess the the strengths, I guess, on the field that can stand out. I'm very intelligent, very good football player. Uh, I can tackle very well. I have great speed. Um, got picks, forced fumbles, coverage, pass deflections, everything. And, and I, I say a testament to me. Uh, again, I know I'm kind of going back, and I'm sorry. Uh, this is another ability I have. I have the ability to, you know, just just stay stay in the shadows. But I know when it's my time, uh, I give the glory to God. Even this this past season, uh, I had zero starts. <clears throat> well, I had <laughs> leading until one game. I had zero starts until we played uh, Team Mississippi College, and they run a triple option, so it's a bunch of tackling. But um, I recorded my season high, 13 tackles, a couple tackles for loss, um, and I played my tail off. I was at every spot I was supposed to be, every position I was supposed to be, and I was also working special teams at game. So, you know, I, I thank God for that opportunity. I thank God for that moment because it just it shows – People and other kids, you know, just just wait, wait and keep working. Uh, your time's gonna shine. Uh, and on the last question is, what are your final, what is your final pitch to NFL and other pro leagues? Man, I think I had said everything I said. My final pitch is, I'm a kid who just needs the opportunity. I'm humble, very appreciative, um, never caused any problems. Man, I, I could go on for days, uh, but I, I think I've, I've said what I've said, and, you know, if that's not enough, then I don't know what else to say, but, you know, uh, I think God moves for a reason and opportunities I get is because of him. Uh, and again, I'm a, I'm a humble kid. I, I played every position for a defensive back. I'm versatile. I played every position for special teams. Um, I've done it all and I know what it feels like to not be the man after I've been the man my whole life. Uh, I still am the man, but, you know, just praying and being humble about certain situations has gotten me where I've gotten now. And I know how to conduct myself when I feel like my situations don't add up to where it's supposed to be. So, you know, I felt like I've, I've learned it and I've, talked to a bunch of people in the league. Uh, one of my closest friends, uh, Jonathan Owens, yeah, he plays for the Texans. He lives in St. Louis. Uh, I train with him all the time. But, you know, even I've talked to him about his story, about how he got cut and how, you know, two years later he's on the practice squad. And, you know, um, and I know he's a very good athlete and a very good player. And this year he got his time to show. And when he played the last three weeks with the Texans and got a start uh, against the Chargers, he's forcing fumbles, getting picks. And, you know, again, he's a humble dude. I'm a humble dude. We come from the same city as most of these guys. Just need an opportunity. And I appreciate your time if you listen and just hear me out. Uh, I just want to thank you. And, Put God first over anything. Thank you.